resides a power. This power is known as a female or motherly primordial power. And since ancient times, it is known as Kundalini. The limbic area on top of the head integrates all the systems in the body and is therefore the principal control center for the body. Your experiment with truth starts when your kundalini rises up through the spinal column to enlighten this limbic area. When this happens, a new dimension of perception is achieved through which you learn to understand the energy flow from your body to your hands. All the nerve centers and consequently all the organs reflect their condition in the hands and on each fingertip. But I have to tell you one simple thing that it is not the mental knowledge, it is the love of God. I am here to introduce you to His love. He is God Almighty, He is our Father, and He loves us very much, and He wants us to enter into His kingdom as soon as possible. Then He looks after you every moment of your life and you are amazed at the miracles, how he's bothered about you. This is what you must have first. I would say, if you are hungry, you'll say, Other ma you'll say, All right, Mother, if you have done the cooking, let me have the food. But if you are not, then you would like to know this way, that way, what's the use? better have the taste of it. And then we will know each and everything. We will know the people who have been realized souls before, what they taught, explanation of everything. Without that you don't have the subtle eyes, the sukshma, to see the subtleties of what they said. The so best thing is to get that light into your eyes. All right? So let us now stop the questioning. It's nine o'clock and it's better to have it because you didn't know how the time was passing and the realization has to be done and I would like to meet all of you. If you give me time, I would like to meet you. But in case if you spend our time in only questioning, how can I meet you? Few things have to be done, very simple. Those who don't want to do it can go. You cannot force on it. It has to be done in your own freedom and glory. And if you don't want to have it, it's your own choice. Nothing can be forced. This is a divine uh, blessing which has to be asked for. As Christ has said, you have to knock in the same way. So it works on the principle that we are all computers and you have to ask a question to a computer like me and then you get the answers as the Kundalini awakening to explain it more sort of in a scientific thing. But it is a very simple method that we have to take and you have to help your centers also. As it is, it works spontaneously, no doubt, but if we can little bit help our centers, it expedites and later on we, if you go home, you can also work it out yourself. So very simple thing is, I don't know how far he has told you about the channels, but the left side represents your emotional side and your desire to get realization. And the right side is the action that you have to take. So first of all, we have to take the help of the Mother Earth and also the shoes sometimes block the awakening, so it's better to take out the shoes for a while, just for a short time. It will hardly take ten minutes, hardly ten minutes. Put both the feet on the ground parallel to each other, just parallel to each other. And you have to be comfortable. You have to be comfortable. If there's something you find rather tight on your body, you can little bit release the tightness. 
and be comfortable. If somebody wants to go out for a while, can go and come back. This I'll wait for them in case, because it is something that has to work out. It has to work out and I'm sure it will. Now one has to know that realization is not complete unless and until your connection is established. So maybe today it will break through in my presence, but you have to establish and you have to know all about it because the light which is enlightened has to give light to others, must give light to others. It's very simple. Now I'm coming to Toronto, I was told, after six years. Of course, next year I'm going to come, definitely, no doubt. But still, it is you who are going to give Realization to others. It is you who are going to transform the people here. It's your responsibility. There's no commitment of money, there's no commitment of anything whatsoever, except that the commitment that we have got the light and we have to give. And once you start giving others, you'll be surprised that your spiritual growth will be very fast. But if you do not give to others, you'll be stunned and you will not know why it is happening. Second thing is very simple about modern Sahaja Yoga, we should say, that first you get your Realization. First you get a little light within yourself and in that light you see what's wrong with you and you yourself drop it. Say, people have given up drugs, I have not told them. They have given up so many things, I have never told them. It just works because your own Kundalini works it out and grants these blessings to you. But you must show full respect to your Self-realization and you must show that gratitude of Divine that you are going to spread it. We talk about so many things, disastrous things, but how much we can contribute by Realization you do not know. As soon as you will start using your vibrations for giving Realizations to another, other people and meeting collectively, understanding it, you will be amazed, the whole atmosphere will start changing. I didn't tell you how much these vibrations help for health but also for all the agriculture, animals, everything. It's such a wonderful thing that three doctors in Delhi have got their MD who have done research on three subjects. One is the physical fitness, second is the epilepsy and third, psychosomatic diseases. In Delhi University they have done it. Now there are seven doctors in London who are doing, uh, not, it's not research but recording how many people are cured by surgery. We have definitely cured the disease you are talking about, definitely. And many people have been cured. There's an architect who was described as dead uh, that, I mean, doctors had certified that you are going to die within one month's time and he was saved by a, an English surgeon. She saved him just by telling him how to meditate. So one has to first get Realization and then believe in yourself and then you will believe in surgery. There is no blind faith needed, you have to first experience. Once you have the experience, then yourself being honest, you will do it. So actually I am fulfilling all the prophecies of all the saints, all the desires of all the prophets and all that was asked for. That's a very difficult task, it needs a lot of patience, understanding and love. You see it's easy to get crucified, I tell you, even easier to take some poison 
and to take some samadhi, but to dig, work it out day in and day out. It's a difficult task and you really need a mother. If it was a Krishna, he would have used his Sudarshan Chakra and Rama would have taken his Vanvasa. But I have to live with you, I have to deal with you and I have to work it out. And my love has such a force that it doesn't get tired, doesn't get tired at all. I wish you all love yourself the same way and understand your own glory. At the very outset, we have to understand not to feel guilty at all about anything whatsoever, because you forget your past. Not to feel guilty. You are not to say that you have done this wrong, that wrong, not to count any mistakes. After all, you are human beings, and only human beings can make mistakes. You are not God. So there's nothing to condemn yourself for anything because now if you have to enter into the kingdom of God, why should you condemn yourself? You should be in a very pleasant mood towards yourself, very pleasantly placed, and know that you are a human being and a little journey has to be done. It's very simple, I really tell you, it's very simple. So do not go into any depression, or some people also feel all the time, will I get it or not? You will all get it, I tell you. I verily say, you will all get it, but don't be diffident about it. With this, let us start now. I'll tell you, you put your left hand towards me like this to begin with. Later on, we'll go into a real awakening, but just now I'll tell you how to do it. Left hand towards me, <coughs> symbolically you are expressing your desire that you want to have your Self-realization. Then your right hand, you put it on your heart, which is a center where resides the Spirit. In human beings, it resides in the heart. So first we put it in the heart. Then we put our hand on the upper part of our abdomen, on the left hand side. We work out everything on the left hand side. Now here is the center of your mastery which is created by all the prophets and all the masters for us. So <clears throat> here you place it in the upper part of your abdomen, on the left-hand side. Then you place it in the low part of your abdomen, in the low part of your abdomen on the left-hand side. This is a very important center because this is the center which manifests true knowledge on your nervous system. So this is also a very important set. Then you raise your Kundalini by putting your hand on, again, on the center of the Master, that is the upper part of your abdomen on the left hand side. Press it hard. Now, then you press again your hand on your heart. Now, you take your hand and put it in the corner of your neck and your shoulder and turn your head to your right. This is the center you catch when you feel guilty, you feel diffident and you try to debase yourself. This is the center you catch. So you put your hand to your right, your, your hand on the left side, but your head to your right. Now, stretch your hand and put the center of your palm on, I'm sorry, then you have to put your hand on the forehead, across. Now this is the center and bend your head where you have to ask for forgiveness for others, means you have to say, I forgive everyone. Now some will say that is very difficult to forgive, but whether you forgive or you don't forgive, it's a myth. So if you don't forgive, then you play into wrong hands. So better is to forgive. I find it's very difficult for people to forgive others, even to say that, 
and then when they come to me, I find they have not forgiven and they have not felt the vibration. So from your heart you have to forgive when I tell you. Now put your hand on the back side of your head and push back your head on it. Here you have to ask for forgiveness from Divine without counting your mistakes, without feeling guilty, just for your satisfaction. Now you have to stretch your hand and put the center of your palm on top of your head, bending your head just here where there's a fontanelle bone area, which was a soft bone in your childhood. So put your right hand on top of that and press it hard, pushing back your fingers and move your scalp clockwise, slowly, seven times you have to move, but that I'll tell you later on after you close your eyes. Just now you move it seven times. Now you may have to close your eyes. Please don't open your eyes because there's no mesmerism in it. Moreover, your attention has to be drawn inside. So it's better to close your eyes. It will help you a lot if you keep your eyes closed till I tell you to open. Now please place your left hand towards me. And now close your eyes, keep your feet apart and put your right hand on your heart and close your eyes. You can take out your spectacles also because it helps your eyesight. Now when you have put your hand on your heart, you have to ask me a very important question. You may call me Sri Mataji if you can or you can call me Mother, whichever suits you. Mother, am I the Spirit? Ask this question three times. In your heart, ask the question, Mother, am I the Spirit? If you are the Spirit, then you are your guide, you are your master. And all the prophets have built in a center in your being. On the left hand side of your abdomen, in the upper part, you place your hand and press it hard. And here you ask me another question three times Mother, am I? my master. Mother, am I my guide? Ask this question three times. Now please put your right hand in the lower part of your abdomen on the left hand side. As I told you, this is the center of pure knowledge which manifests on your central nervous system. But I cannot force on you. You are free to choose. I respect your freedom. So unless and until you ask me, I cannot bestow anything like that or force you to accept anything. So you have to say, Mother, please give me pure knowledge. Please say it six times because this center has got six petals. When you ask for pure knowledge, the Kundalini starts moving upward. 
So we have to open the upper centers with our self-confidence. Raise your right hand in the upper part of the abdomen on the left hand side and say with full confidence in yourself. Ten times, Mother, I am my own master. Please say ten times. Now the greatest truth about you is that you are not this body, you are not this mind, you are not this intellect, you are not your conditioning, you are not your emotions, you are not your ego, but you are the Spirit. So please raise your hand on your heart again and say with full confidence twelve times, Mother, I am the Spirit. Please say it twelve times without doubting yourself. Please say it with full confidence twelve times, Mother, I am the Spirit, which you are. Now, we have to know that the Divine is the ocean of love and knowledge. It is the ocean of compassion and bliss, but above all it is the ocean of forgiveness and whatever mistakes we have committed can be easily dissolved by that ocean. So we have to forgive ourselves and we have to put our hand in the corner of our shoulder and our neck and turn our head to our right. And here with full confidence we have to say sixteen times, full confidence, Mother, I am not guilty at all. Please say it full confidence, you are not. Let the Kundalini judge you. You don't judge yourself and condemn yourself. Now put your hand as far as you can take it towards your spinal cord and turn your head to your right. As I have told you, that we have to forgive everyone. You don't have to remember whom you have to forgive, what they have done to you, what is their mistake and why they have tortured you. Nothing is to be remembered. At this present moment we have to know that we have to forgive them and this is the greatest weapon we have got, that we can forgive everyone by which we neutralize them completely. They cannot be effective on us and let the Divine look after them. So now here you put your hand on your forehead across and bend your head and press it hard on both the sides. Here you have to say from your heart, not how many times, Mother, I forgive everyone. Believe me, only saying this from your heart will feel very much relieved, very much relieved. Please say that. Mother, I forgive everyone. Now take back your hand, put it on the back side of your head, what we call as the optic lobe area, and push your head on top of it and let it rest on it. And here you have to say, without thinking about your guilt, your mistakes or anything, just for your satisfaction, you have to say, 
or divine. If we have done any mistakes, if I have done any mistakes, please forgive me. It's for your satisfaction. But please do not try to find faults with yourself. Now, stretch your hand. At the center of your hand, please put it on to the soft bone that was in your childhood called as fontanelle bone area. And press it hard, bending your head, push back your fingers. And now you have to move it seven times very slowly clockwise. But before that, I'm sorry that I cannot cross your freedom. In your freedom, you have to ask for your self-realization. It cannot be forced. It's too precious to be forced on anyone. So you have to say that, Mother, please give me my Self-realization and move it seven times, slowly, clockwise, pressing it very hard, pushing back your fingers, slowly, very slowly, please do it. Take down your hands, open your eyes, slowly put both the hands towards me. Now put the right hand like this little forward, bend your head and see from your fontanelle bone area if you get a cool breeze coming out. But don't touch it, keep it away and see for yourself. Some people get it very far away, so be careful and watch and see for yourself if you get the cool breeze coming out of your head. Now don't doubt it. Some people might get heat coming out, it's all right. The heat has to come out first and then the cool will come. Now put the left hand towards me, please, and bend your head and see for yourself if the cool breeze is coming out of your head. As it is, you are becoming thoughtless and the peace is being established within you. But you see for yourself that the cool breeze is coming out of your head. Now last of all, again put your right hand towards me. Bless, again bend your head and see for yourself carefully if there is a cool breeze coming out of your head. Now, raise your, both the hands towards the sky and bend back and ask a question. One of these questions you ask, Mother, is this the cool breeze of the Holy Ghost? Mother, is this the Ruh, the all-pervading power of love of God? Or Mother, is this the Brahma Chaitanya? Ask any one of these questions three times. Now put down your hands, please. Now watch me. You can watch me without thinking. Now see in your hands if you are feeling the cool breeze. Maybe one or two fingers, maybe a little bit burning, doesn't matter, suggesting your centers. Now those who have felt a cool breeze out of their head or on their fingertips, please raise both your hands.
such a lot of people have already felt it. May God bless you all. I'm sorry I've come only for one day here and tomorrow I'll be leaving. But in any case, I would like to meet you if possible and see for myself. And I hope those who haven't got it will also will get it. It is already flowing, see now, you can feel it. It's flowing very much, just see. Sometimes if the center is not all right, but if you have not forgiven also, if you have not forgiven, some people might be feeling such a lot of breeze, I can feel it. If you have not forgiven also, sometimes you don't feel it. Please forgive and then come and see me if you want to. You can come round and I would like to meet you. control center for the body. Your experiment with truth starts when your kundalini rises up through the spinal column to enlighten this limbic area. When this happens, a new dimension of perception is achieved through which you learn to understand the energy flow from your body to your hands. All the nerve centers and consequently all the organs reflect their condition in the hands and on each fingertip. But I have to tell you one simple thing, that it is not the mental knowledge, it is the love of God. I am here to introduce you to His love. He is God Almighty. He is our Father. And He loves us very much. And freedom and glory. And if you don't want to have it, it's your own choice. Nothing can be forced. This is a divine uh, blessing which has to be asked for. As Christ has said, you have to knock in the same way. So it works on the principle that we are all computers and you have to ask a question to a computer like me and then you get the answers as the Kundalini awakening to explain it more sort of in a scientific thing. But it is a very simple method that we have to take and you have to help your centers also. As it is, it works spontaneously, no doubt, but if we can a little bit help our centers, it expedites and later on, we, if, without that, you don't have the subtle eyes, the sukshma, to see the subtleties of what they said. The so best thing is to get that light into your eyes, all right? So let us now stop the questioning. It's nine o'clock and it's better to have it because you didn't know how the time was passing and the realization has to be done and I would like to meet all of you. If you give me time, I would like to meet you. But in case, if we spend our time in only questioning, how can I meet you? <coughs> Few things have to be done, very simple. Those who don't want to do it can go. You cannot force on it. It has to be done in your own
resides a power. This power is known as a female or motherly primordial power. And since ancient times, it is known as Kundalini. The limbic area on top of the head integrates all the systems in the body and is therefore the principal... He wants us to enter into his kingdom as soon as possible. Then he looks after you every moment of your life and you are amazed at the miracles, how he's bothered about you. This is what you must have first. I would say, if you are hungry, you'll say, Other ma you'll say, all right, Mother, if you have done the cooking, let me have the food. But if you are not, then you would like to know this way, that way, what's the use? Better have the taste of it. And then you will know each and everything. We we'll know the people who have been realized souls before, what they taught, explanation of everything. 